My name is Adolfo De Santis. I'm a research fellow at the University of Exeter and I work on the electronic and optoelectronic properties of two-dimensional materials. As often happens in science, discoveries are made by serendipity where we start looking for something and we end up looking for something else. That's exactly what happened to me. I was looking to measure some properties of a material and I ended up actually discovering a new phenomenon that nobody had observed before. I worked with four other people, and in particular with my line manager and supervisor, Professor Saverio Russo. I lead a team of early career researchers working at the forefront of quantum mechanical aspects of emerging atomically thin materials. Our group is based in physics, but our activity is truly interdisciplinary, reaching out in areas that are close to engineering, chemistry, and material science as well. The work we are doing with Adolfo aims uh, to improve uh, the efficiency of solar cells and also improve the efficiency of uh, detectors. If we take uh, a material uh, and uh, a semiconductor and we pull it, literally we, we stretch it, its electronic properties change. They change in such a way that the electrons behave differently because they feel a different energy gap, as we call it in, uh, uh, in semiconductor physics. Now, very interesting things can happen uh, at this point, and one of them is uh, related to my discovery, which is called charge funneling. Currently, solar energy harvesting works this way. We have the energy coming from the sun, which is represented by this red water, and we are trying to fill up our, our battery by pouring it directly into it. Everything spills out and not much is collected in the battery. What my research does, literally puts a funnel on top of the battery. By doing so, we can actually fill it in a much faster way, obtaining a much higher efficiency. This discovery is very important because um, it demonstrates for the first time that uh, uh, we can use two-dimensional materials to make novel devices that have never been taught before. So in 2012, the group became known for the discovery of uh, what we called Graphexeter, that is uh, an augmented form of graphene. Uh, graphene is an atomically thin layer of carbon atoms we dressed up the surface of this single layer of carbon atoms with uh, molecules of ferric chloride and uh, obtained uh, uh, a material that is uh, now known as the best transparent conductor of electricity. These materials are only a few atoms thick and no other material that we use nowadays in uh, technology such as solar cells can actually do what they do because they will break. However, these materials can be stretched up to 25% and that's what makes it possible. So not only is a demonstration of uh, an important phenomenon, uh, but it's also a demonstration that the only materials can, that can do this are the materials I've been working with in the past four years. The ability of these materials to stretch and strain so much opens new possibilities. For example, computer CPUs that don't heat or uh, high performance cameras and, uh, or other type of sensors. We demonstrated a phenomenon that could potentially boost the efficiency of solar cells from the current 21% up to 61%. My name is Adolfo De Santis and I believe that my research can make the whole world powered with solar energy.